The Holy Spirit is the activation of this software. Hallelujah. The Today, on the day of salvation, the activation of this software. Hallelujah. He is the one that activates this software. He's the one that opens it, that makes it work. When God's word comes into the heart of man, you see drug addict become love addict. You see people who are cruel, fraudsters, become honest and transparent. God's word, Psalms. How did Mary find out that she was chosen to be the mother of God's son? Listen to the Bible from Luke 1. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. From Luke 1, listen to the Bible. It's great for the soul. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from World Salvation Center in Bangalore. I say this to you, defeat your fears tonight, otherwise your fears will defeat you. So God's word when it's inside a man or a woman, It enables them. It does what? To run God's software in them. Are we there in the book of Jeremiah? Let's see the prophecy that was given to the prophet Jeremiah concerning the word of God inside us, working inside us. Look at verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I'll put my law in their inward parts. Oh boy. Look up. Can you eat paper? The answer is no. Can you eat stones? The answer is no. This must be a software. Are you there? We can eat book. So God does not intend us to eat the book. God intends us to have his word as it is written in the book on the table of our heart. But to, how? Through the Holy Spirit. How? The Holy Spirit is the activation of this software. Hallelujah. Come before you. Yo, yo. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the one that activates this software. He is the one that opens it. That makes it work. When God's word comes into the heart of man, you see drug addict become love addict. You see people who are cruel fraudsters become honest and transparent god's word psalms 119 verse 130 
God's word enters into the heart with light. God's word enters into the heart with what? Light. With light. That means with power. Because there is no light without power. All light has power. But we have the greater light. The greatest light. Because the Bible says the enemy transforms himself like an angel of light. You see, so he has deceit power, but we have truth power, we have original power, and we have the name of Jesus. So the enemy can turn, twist scriptures, but we don't turn and twist scriptures. We read the scriptures it is because we belong to the original one. So God wants his word to be on the table of our hearts. We see it here, didn't we? Yes. Someone said, but he's talking about the house of Israel. Now, He's talking about the house of Israel because Israel was God's contact point on earth. God never had any other people. Are you there? Israel was God's contact point. Don't forget the whole story of Abraham, how God spoke to Abraham and called him and came back into the human race, not just as a God, but as a friend. He was a friend to Abraham, not just not just as a God. He was Abraham's friend. And the Bible says, Abraham, believing God, was counted unto him for righteousness. For righteousness. So, okay. So we read further. This is in verse 33. We read further. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The heart, the inward parts are not the same. I used to tell people while I was a single man, and this is the first time some of you may be hearing it. I said, a time will come in my life. If you cut my blood, you will see scripture. I used to confess like that. I was telling my brother, I said, time will come. If they cut my flesh, they'll see scripture. Now, I never heard of the story of one king. I've forgotten his name. When he died, on his heart, there was a sign of the cross. They opened it on his heart. There was a sign of the cross embedded in his heart. I write my laws in their inward parts. I write my laws inside. So you talk about sickness attacking these people, these covenant people? Impossible. Because the laws of God is written where? In their inward, in, in, inward parts. See? So I write it in their hearts. And will be their God. And they shall be my people. 34. And they shall teach no more. Every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they all, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Which people do you think is the closest characteristic? It's the New Testament. Is where? New Testament. New Testament, the Bible says, Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the New Testament he's talking about here. <coughs> New Testament he's talking about here. So, every time you spend putting God's word into you, you are not wasting it. It will manifest. It will what? It will come out. It will come out. When you put God's word into you, it will come out. It will come out. Hallelujah. Okay, we said step by step instruction. John's Gospel. John's Gospel. Chapter 15, verse 34 and 35. Okay, pardon. Pardon. 13, chapter 13. 13, 
chapter 13, chapter number 13. Are you there? Let's read verse 34 and 35. Want to go? A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Wonderful! Are you there? Is this an instruction? <laughs> You're not so sure. It is an instruction. A commandment is an instruction. You know why some of you are not so sure it's an instruction? It's the way you take instruction. You take instruction, something I'll do or something I'll not do. No, instruction is instruction. Look at, you buy a screen. And when you bought the screen, there's a manual. And on it is written, read these instructions before you operate it. Do they intend that when you are fine, you can read? If you are not fine, it's okay, keep it under the bed and just plug it and put it on. Is that what they intend? No. Instructions are to be followed. Instructions are to be followed. But in this century, when you say instruction, yeah, man, people can do what they want to do, you see. So God's word is instruction. Actually, you see this in the book of uh, Peter. He says instruction in righteousness. Instruction in what? In righteousness. God's word is instruction in righteousness. Instructs us in righteousness. So here we see, he said, now, this are you in love. He said, a new commandment I've given unto you. You, you heard the lot, the neighbor asked, yes, sir, bless your heart. Now I'm updating it. A new commandment. A what? A new commandment. A new commandment I give unto you. That you love one another as I have loved you. That ye also love one another. Wow. Wow. Wow! So, so, I should love brother and sister like Jesus loves me. That of great the love among us. Are you there? It's not just that uh, what I like I will do to you. Mm -mm. What Jesus likes I should do to you. Not what I like. Sometimes what I like may not be what you like. Have you, ever, have you ever seen any, any situation like that? I'll give you one. No, the fellow went to shopping. Say, so what do you want to do? I want to buy a gift for Sister A. Okay. And he went, shopped nice stuff. Oh, now packed it nicely. And he said, Sister A, I got a gift for you. <laughs> and Sister A said, what do you want to I got a... Then Sister A said, <laughs> he says, oh my God, you shouldn't have bought this. I don't like this material. I don't. But you searched. You took off your shoes and you were wearing slip on. That is flat slippers. You walked all around commercial street. You walked all around the mall, and you were looking at me, mm, she didn't like this. Sister, I know her, she, mm, she didn't like that. No, she didn't like, I'm that one, she liked that one. How much is it? They said thousands, thousands? Okay, sister, it's special to me, I'll buy it. <laughs> After you have gone through all the stress, searching, looking for the best material or whatever you bought for sister, A, you came. You were joyful, you touched you, shout hallelujah, thank you, God bless you, only to say, oh, why did you buy this, brother or sister? I don't like this material. It makes me sweat a lot. It makes me wow. You know, people, people have a lot of, I mean, a lot of way of life they have, you know. Some say I like only cutting, cutting material. Some say I like only this material. Some say I like only that material. So, now when we want to love, how do we love this one? So, say, Pastor, so, but it, it will not be gift again if I ask them, what do you want? <laughs> you should do it smartly. Come on. Are you there? Come on. You don't go and ask when it's three days to the day of their birthday or something. Uh, sister, uh, what do you like? He will catch you that you want to give her something. You should be smart. Are you there? You should get the information before time. Otherwise, you ask. Is it a crime for, <laughs> for you to know and give them the gift? As a matter of fact, they didn't go for shopping with you. 
you went alone. So you can see by that example that what I love. I say this to you. Defeat your fears tonight. Otherwise your fears. You're watching Day of Salvation. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Christmas and a happy new year. You're watching Day of Salvation. Welcome back. By that example that what I love may not be what you love. So I cannot love you like I love myself. That one does not apply fully, 100% to everyone. Are you there? Some people are so particular. So particular that there is a way they sleep even. If you make a banana's bed for them, there is a way they will turn the bed around and sleep that <laughs> a certain way. People are very particular. Are you there? We love one another as Christ loves us. So therefore, Christ loves us based on God's standard. Based on? So I should love people based on God's standard. I should not be emotional. I should not be, mm, mm, you know, trying to love you based on my terms, making you to like what I like. Then look at verse 35, it's very touching. You thought when you love your, name, your <laughs> brother as Christ loves you, God will be very pleased. Yes, he will be very pleased. But look at verse 35. It will shock you. By this shall Christian people know. Okay, sorry. Let, let, come to verse 35. Maybe I'm reading verse 36. By this shall all the pastors know that you. Please look at it very well. Don't generalize it. All people are not Christian. So. By this shall how many people? All shall how many people? All no TV program. No publication. No tape. No video can produce this kind of proof. Are you there? This is real proof. When you see the way brother loves his sister in Christ. You see the way they go. You see, you see, you see it. Is it hard to see somebody who loves another? Okay. Some of you are not talking. Mm -hmm. uh, if, is it hard for you to see someone who hates one another? Is, is it hard to know, that, to know somebody who hates another? It's not hard. The way the person would uh, act, the way the person would react, is character.
his decisions and all that. And then, then when you look at love now, the same thing applies in the other way around. The fruit, the way the person acts, the way the person does things. You cannot, it's not fire. You cannot be thinking, does Ryan love uh, has his sister in Christ? I don't know. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. If you, if you start doing like that, you also don't love effectively in Christ Jesus. If I drink tea, I know the taste of a tea. Correct? Yes. Huh. If I taste sugar, I know the how it tastes. Yes. I should not say, I don't know, is this sugar? Is this a uh, bitter leaf? I don't know. Can you test can you test it? I don't know. You you, you have not tasted sugar before then. Am I correct? If you see a brother who's walking in love, you know. If you see a brother who's not walking in God kind of love, you will no. know. It's not far fetched. He said, By this shall all men all men. Politicians? Religious people? All Foreigners? All, all men. men. By this, all men will know. Look at what they'll know. It will shock you. I thought you said they'll know that you love me. You see what? That you are my disciples. You are my disciples. They will know that you are like me. They will know that you are like me. Why? Because in the 15th verse he said, Greater love had no man than this, and a man should lay down his life for his friends. So he laid down his life for us, and now he's teaching us. Now you have to do the same. He's teaching us. He said, when you do that, people will see it, and they will know that. See, one, you are my disciples. That's big. The identity of a disciple is the love of God. The identity of a disciple is God's love. The identity of a disciple is God's love. What's the identity of a disciple? God's love. You can quote from Genesis to Revelation. If you don't love your brother in Christ, bless your darling heart. Dry scriptures. Dry what? Say, Pastor, oh, when you hear what Pastor taught him. First, I would like to thank God for all that he's been doing and he's going to do. And I thank God again for Pastor Edmonds and Pastor Johanna in my life. Um, uh, before I came into this church, like I remember in the beginning, I had shared my testimony telling that during my college days, I was really timid and I never used to talk to anyone. And Pastor was the one like who encouraged me. And even before, in, if, when I was even when I was small, I had uh, I, a desire to serve God, but then no one would there to encourage me or no one at the word of God and uh, when I came into this church it was really a, a transformation for me and God and it, it, and each and every cell meeting and each and every message that's been taught here uh, when I put it into action it really changed my second year of college and people could see the difference between them and me and uh, I, uh, and it was, and I could, see, uh, it was like g God showing me how it was when I'm with Him and when I was without Him, and it really helped me change people around me. And I remember during my final exams, there was one teaching that Pastor Jana thought about: no matter what, you you should stay at peace because that's your lifestyle. And I had a French test, which I was really that was the subject that I never. Uh, like <laughs> and I could see I just depended on God and I could see myself being in peace and people around me question me why are, why are you so so calm and I can see you being so chilled out and you're not bothered about anything so I just smiled at them because that time I really didn't know what to tell and later after my second PU and after all that pastor taught me i really wanted to serve two god things, there was two things mainly that uh, there were many more things that whatever pastor taught me that helped me over there and there were two main things that helped me uh, during my counseling pastor joanna she told uh, no samantha is going to be stubborn with god's word and she's going to keep uh, she's going to do whatever no matter what she's going to stand on his word and she'll receive what she has in the bible college and even when there were many things happening in college i i 
I I was stubborn and I received what God had for me. And there was another thing like during I remember during one cell meeting, singles meeting, pastor spoke about relationships, and he said, if you don't know the pur- purpose of a thing, don't use it because you will mis you will abuse it. And that was one thing that kept me like whatever was happening in my college. There were so many girls and boys. Even though we even though we had a very good college, even though we had rules where we are not supposed to talk to the boys, there were so many girls and boys. They got in connected with the girls and boys, and there were so many problem created by that. But because of what pastor taught me, I could. I asked God for more of his grace and he helped me and I could come out suc- uh, successfully. Uh, thank you pastor for that teaching. Now, I want you to talk to the people here and maybe anyone who will hear your testimony afterwards. What do you have to say to the world, to young people of your age? What advice do you have to say to them? every supernatural things every uh, uh, vampire or harry potter or anything that's there in the world that's not going to help us to go into eternity but the manifestations and god the blood of jesus helps us to go to his kingdom and that's above anything else and if you believe in jesus and he's ready to use you for his kingdom and you will see supernaturals happening through you How did Mary find out that she was chosen to be the mother of God's son? Listen to the Bible from Luke 1. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, "Greetings you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary." You will be with child and give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. From Luke 1. Listen to the Bible. It's great for the soul. Angels we Merry Christmas. And a happy new year from World Salvation Center in Bangalore.